Alright, so if you clicked on this video, you're probably thinking one of two things. You're either thinking, oh great, another internet feminist video. Or you're thinking, what? How dare you say that women aren't allowed to enjoy anime? What kind of bullfuckery are you on? The answer to both those questions is no. Sit down, shut up, enjoy the video. Honestly, what I'm going to be talking about today was one of the funniest things I ever saw on Twitter, and I just wanted to share my thoughts as both a whammon and a weeb. And also guys, please don't go after this kid. Just because I'm ripping on them doesn't mean that they deserve to be completely chastised for what they said. After all, we all say some pretty stupid shit when we're edgy teenagers. Doesn't mean we should go around trying to cancel children. That and, uh, not gonna lie, these Posts actually got a genuine laugh out of me when I was reading them and I'm still trying to contain myself from doing such. So why am I making this video out of the blue and why am I trying to tell people not to cancel children? Well, I was scrolling through Twitter one day. Big shock. And then I saw the following screenshot that, oh lord, just, just get ready for this shit. Hot take. We started watching anime as an escape from the real world. Yes, most people tend to do that with a lot of entertainment-related media. Your point? While girls only do it as a trend. Ex excuse me? Um... <laughs> you serious? They only want male validation, yet we watch it because it's the only thing that makes us happy. Bruh. I actually can't tell if this is an edgy teenager or a parody account, but I still can't help but ask the man with the six paths of pain as his icon. My dude, are, are you okay? Who hurt you, my dude? Was it a girl that you really liked, but then you found out she was taken? Or was it like, you know, you saw Roll 34 a little too early in your life and now you need to see therapy? Uh, my dude. My dude. Anyways, in all seriousness, this is actually kind of hilarious to me. I remember back when I was a teenager in high school and I joined Anime Club, and guess what? Most of the people in my Anime Club were women. Hell, our president was a woman. And I know anime clubs can be pretty cringy, and hell, I was the cringiest person there because I was a year younger than I should have been. But still, I had some pretty good times discovering Madoka Magica and Crunchyroll for the first time since I left my rock. So yeah. <laughs> Still though, my freshman year. Good times. Good times. Now, I know this post gave me a good laugh, but there wouldn't be a video if there wasn't more now, isn't there? And yeah, there is more. Let's go through them. Anyone else feel like women ruined anime? We should have never introduced anime to them. Alright, kinda unrelated, but also a fun fact. Most early shoujo manga were created by men. And one of the huge examples being Princess Knight by the legendary father of Astro Boy and anime himself, Osama Tezuka. It wasn't until the 1960s when a group called the Year 24 Group, where the Magnificent 24s debuted their own series of manga created by women. Also, one of the very first female mangakas were Machiko Hisagawa. Also, I apologize if I mispronounce any names, and I hope anybody in the comments can correct me on the pronunciation. Thank you very much. Anyone else think that girls shouldn't watch Shonen? They'll never be able to understand the complexity or relate to it. Okay, um, at this point I'm starting to think that this is a parody count because who the fuck says this? And also, hey man, I'm sorry that I enjoy watching kick-ass anime men and women go through trials, tribulations, and TORNAMENT We interrupt this program to bring you an important message. TORNAMENT While they punch each other repeatedly in the face and slice each other while learning that the only real treasures are the friendships they made along the way. Nah, but seriously. Aside from the three big animes I grew up watching, here are some recent shonen animes that I recommend aside from JoJo. The recent iteration of Megalobox, Dr. Stone, Mob Psycho 100, Black Clover once you get past most of the animation and watch the dub to avoid listening to Asta's Japanese voice actor yelling towards the beginning of the anime, and who could forget Demon Slayer, One Punch Man, and My Hero Academia. I, I could honestly list so much more, but then I'd be here for hours trying to list as many shonen anime that I know and then eventually have to go on Google in order to figure out what I remember. Funny how females are now weebs when they used to bully us for it. 
Once again, I must ask, who hurt you, you poor boy? Is the fact that you're using Kaneki for the background image a sign of your dying soul? Women call themselves weebs even though they've never seen the big three. Okay, which big three are you talking about? Is it Bleach, One Piece, and Naruto? Or My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer, and, um... I don't know if that last one should be Fire Force, Dr. Stone, One Punch Man, or any of that, because honestly, anything could fit that last one. Also, screw you, to this day I still cry about the death of the Going Mary. If your favorite anime isn't one of these three, then you're not a true weeb. My favorite anime is Space Dandy, so I guess I'm not a true weeb. Sorry guys, I've been lying to you all this time. Please forgive me. Try not to cancel me. I've already canceled myself. And finally. Just a disclaimer, if you're a female... Notice how he doesn't call us women, but females, which I don't know about you, but doesn't that sound just weird? I'm not really offended by it, but it just sounds off. I mean, it's not like we go around calling men male unless they're male men, and if we're calling you that, we're expecting our packages from Amazon or an internet bill. I know that sounds dumb to stop on, but think about it. You don't go around saying, like, what's up, my females? <laughs> Although I think I'll start doing that now just to see how people react. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, anyways. If you're female, don't watch Shonen or sign in. Seinen? Seinen? I don't know. I've never seen this term before. Anyways. Shonen was made for us since we can easily relate to the main character and y'all watching it ruins the whole purpose. <laughs> okay, okay, there's a lot to unpack here, but... Uh, Alright, here are a small list of examples of women who have created shonen manga. The creator of Full Metal Alchemist, Hiromu Arakawa. Rumiko Takahashi, who created Ranma One Half, Inuyasha, and Urisei Yatsura. Also, I don't know if anybody remembers Dead Man Wonderland by Jinsei... Um, is it Jinsei Ta Katauka? Or is it Ta Katakoka? I- I'm so sorry to the creator. Your name is just oddly hard to pronounce for me. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is just because something is targeted towards a boy or a girl doesn't mean that the other gender can't enjoy it as well. I mean, if a guy wanted to pick up a shonen manga and whatnot and just enjoy it for what it is, then hey, that's cool. You know, now that I think about it, there's actually a manga that I remember called Ottoman by Aya Kano that was about Asuka, the manliest man to ever man in high school, who secretly into cooking, sewing, and reading shoujo manga. Ironically, to me at least, the manliest man to ever man can be masculine, there's nothing wrong with that. But you're also not afraid, for example, to show off to your bros that, hell yeah man, I enjoy playing cooking mama. You wanna join me bruh? I've got so many cool recipes, it's a pretty cool game. And hey, if you want to, we can just play some FIFA 21 later. And before anyone somehow takes offense to that, I'm trying to say that it doesn't matter if you're into some pretty girly stuff, or if you're into monster trucks or something. Anime is for everyone, and there's so much anime out there that if you're into shonen anime, cool. If you're into the classics or like only into new anime, also cool, but don't try to gatekeep an entire genre from other people who are also just trying to enjoy something that you also happen to like just because they don't fit your agenda or who you define as the only people who can watch something. If all anyone is doing is enjoying the same thing you like and they're not hurting you, they're not affecting your view viewing experience but you're still mad about it, then maybe you need to reevaluate yourself, man. This isn't even about, like, opinions, man. Everybody can have, like, different opinions and still fight about them. I'm talking about just viewing experience overall. After all, we're all just watching anime, but we're also on different journeys. Hell, my journey started with Pokemon, and it eventually grew into me enjoying my shonen trash. I love my shonen trash, alright, don't try and mess with that. And then I discovered that there was more to anime than what was being aired on Toonami back when it was first revived. And hell, my first manga I got in middle school was Skip Beat. And then shortly after that, Vampire Night. I remember when I was younger, I wanted to create my own manga that ended up accidentally ripping off Soul Eater before I knew that Soul Eater was a thing. Anyways, but yeah, now I'm enjoying things like Dr. Stone, Mob Psycho 100, Carol and Tuesday, Onemonogatari, Agretzko, and many more 
that, once again, I could spend hours listing because I just like anime. A lot of people on the internet like anime. I'm no one special in that regard, but my point still stands, right? You'll probably be happier if you just mind your own business and enjoy what you like. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and hey, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What anime did you grow up watching? How did you get into anime? Let me know. Also before I go, thank you to my patrons, especially my Cosmic Rainbow Dragons, Kyle Christensen, Grim Baby, and Omega Jared. You are all amazing, and thank you so much for your support. If you want to support me on Patreon and look into the rewards, feel free to look in the description below. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye!